Welcome back to Up Close with QP, where we've got the Omega Seamaster 300M. Now, we're trying something a little bit new with this video, so let us know what you think in the comments below. What's new? A lot is new. This is the Seamaster 300M's 25th anniversary year, and Omega has brought with it a raft of changes. On the dial, we have a new laser engraved wave motif, the date window moves to 6 o'clock, and we've got raised hour indices and new handset. Elsewhere, the helium escape valve crown is now a slightly different conical shape, and most importantly, on the inside, we've got a master chronometer coaxial caliber 8800. As Omega's core dive watch, they're not going to go crazy with the design, but it's crucial that it has some personality, and on that front, the 300M succeeds. The laser engraved waves add a nice abstract feel to the watch. It's not overdone, it's not too much, at least in my opinion. For me, there's a lot of dial text, I count six lines, plus the uh, ceramic formula just down just beneath the central pinion. I could have done with slightly less of that. I love the raised hour markers, however, I think they look absolutely great. The handset I'm not completely keen on, and we'll come back to why later. Uh -huh. But overall, I think the watch has great presence. It feels, I think it feels like a bit of a big 42, but others have said the exact opposite, so um, yeah, it's again a matter of personal wearing. Um, the brushed and polished textures on the case could for me be more distinct, but there is an excellent build quality to the whole thing. Amiga's move to replace all its old calibers with Master Chronometer certified ones continues, and now the Seamaster 300M gets caliber 8800. That's a 3.5 Hz uh, automatic movement with 55 hours of power reserve. You've got hours, minutes, seconds, and date, nothing more than that. And while there are some, and I have been among that number, who will occasionally tell you that a Sapphire case back on a dive watch is, is, is fundamentally flawed, if it has to be there, it should be showing a movement like this, because this is a well-decorated yet not overdone, thoroughly modern-looking movement. And when you own this watch, you're looking at that, you think, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing. You know, so if you're going to have to have one, this is how you do it. And of course, a master chronometer, for those of you who don't know, it means it is valid to minus naught plus five seconds a day and resistant to magnetism up to 15,000 gauss, among many other attributes. Those are the key ones. It's been a really easy watch to get used to wearing, and that's exactly what you'd expect. It's come to me on a black rubber strap, and I do feel that fundamentally the Seamaster is a bracelet watch, but I can't knock this, it's been incredibly comfortable. The size is about right, whether you think it's coming up a bit big or small for 42, it's, it's got the right level of presence for this type of watch. You're not buying this if you think it's going to be uh, discreet in all circumstances. Overall, I think this is a great step from Omega. It's a masterclass in how to upgrade something without, uh, without mucking it up. It wasn't broke, but they've managed to fix it in a way that just makes it better and does nothing for me, nothing really wrong. Uh, in a world of arguably overpriced watches, when you look at this, you can at least see where I think where your cash has gone, and on the specs, you can appreciate where your cash has gone. I don't want to go so far as to say it op offers bargainous value for money, but I don't think it's bad either. There's one thing I want to pull it up for, and that is the loom. There's nothing wrong with the loom on the hour markers, but on those hands, it's weak. And I mean, sorry Amiga, the handset is very cool, but in the, in the dark, I'd rather have just solid loom hands. And my Seiko gets that right for a tenth of the price. By comparison, the, the elephant in the room really is the Rolex Submariner. And by virtue of standing still, I feel the sub is moving backwards. This is up to date and very, very much leading that field for me. I, I'm saying it, I am liking this at the moment more than a sub.